Hello friends, this video on classification of elements part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 9. Till now what we have seen, we have uh, classified the elements in groups, sorry periods where we have seen that uh, each of these uh, elements has a particular uh, value, maximum value of outermost shell and if you see elements in the period, if you see uh, they they follow a pattern, the, the, the valence electron number increase and then decrease, right. Now we will classify the elements based on groups. An element in a particular group have particular properties. So the elements are classified into S block, P block, D and F block elements. So all these elements, if you see, this is my S block, this is my P block, this is D block and this is F block. So all the elements in S block has a particular property. They have particular chemical property in physical world. Similarly, D block also elements has particular properties. F block elements also has some properties, unique properties. And in all these blocks, elements has properties which are different. And that's the reason why we classify because now if we know that S block element has some property. So if we talk about any of these elements, I know that since this guy is part of S block, it will have some properties. So it's easy to understand the or you can say it is easy to understand the property of 5 blocks than easy to understand or remember the property of 120 odd elements. Correct. This is as good as dividing the students in different class. For example, in a school, let's suppose there are 120 students. Right? So each student has a property, for example, height, age, or uh, let's suppose uh, subjects they study, subjects they study, and uh, let's suppose three three properties. We talked about three properties, which we were interested only in three properties of the students. It is height, age, and subject they study. So for each student, it is difficult to understand or remember also. So what we can do, we can divide this into class one students. Class 2, class 3, class 4, and class 5. So you'll see that all the students who are in class 1, their age is something 7 to 8 years. Class 2 age is something 8 to 9 years, right? Like that. This is 9 to 10 years, 10 to 11 years, 11 to 12 years. Height also will say approximately, we are not 100% sure, there are some. Uh, Deviation also, you can say these guys are 3 feet, these are 3.5 feet, this is 4 feet, this is 4.5, this is 5 feet. Like that, we can say that height also, we can say that these students have particular height. So, it also, we can say that class 1 students study uh, social science, class 5 st students generally study physics, all those kind of things we can do. So, here, if you know that a, a particular student, let's suppose particular student Rohit, he is in class 1, I can give a fair understanding of the uh, property of Rohit that is he must be of this age group he must be having this much height or he must be studying these subjects similarly here there are so many elements difficult to remember the property of all the elements so we divide in the groups so even if, if I say that this particular element belongs to S block I have a vague understanding that this property this particular element will have these all physical properties correct a very uh, practical uh, comparison of these uh, elements with the real life. So these blocks are nothing but the different class where you group these elements in. Correct. So let's and now understand that from the electronic configuration itself we can tell that which block it belongs to. And how do you say the outer block will tell you which block it belongs to. For example, I have these elements and please note here my uh, the numbers 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p 4s, 4d, 4p, 3s. This is the increasing order of subshell energy, right? Increasing energy order this time. So, for example, if I am telling my S block elements, right? So, hydrogen, the outermost electron is this guy, right? It is in which block? 
S, so it will be in S block. Helium, the outermost electron is 1s, S subshell, so it will also be S block. He, lithium, we'll see. Lithium, the outermost electron is this guy, it is in S subshell. Beryllium, outermost electron is in S subshell. So these four are S block. Why? The outermost electron is in S subshell. Correct. Let's see this guy. Uh, boron, boron outermost is one. One is is in two p, so it is p block. Let's see carbon. Carbon outermost electron is here, p block. Similarly, nitrogen also last is in p block. Oxygen, fluorine, neon. The outermost electron is in p block, so they are all p block. Correct. Let's see sodium. Sodium outermost electron is in s block. Correct. Magnesium outermost electron is in S block. So sodium and magnesium are again S block. Now we will see aluminium. Aluminium the outermost electron is in P block this guy. So we see aluminium, silicon also outermost in P block, phosphorus also outermost in P block, chlorine also P block, argon also P block. So all these elements you see are P block. Why? The outermost electron is in P block. Let's start with uh, the next element, potassium. Potassium, this guy is the outermost electron and it is in S block. Calcium, outermost electron is this guy, also in S block. So this guy also in S block. Correct. See the next elements, scandium, this guy, outermost is in D block. So scandium, if we come, continue, Titanium, D block, right? All these elements, if you see. So from here, if you see elements till this zinc, the outermost is in D block. So these are all D block elements. Next, if you see the outermost element for these elements are in P block. Right? From here to here. Krypton. So these are all P block elements. Correct? So if you see this guy, this guy outermost is in S block. This guy outermost in S block. So this guy, two guy, R, B and S are, they are again S block. Correct. And then again, if you see these elements from here to here, the outermost is in D block. So they are also D block. So these elements, if you see the last, the outermost is in P block. So it will be in the P block. Hope with this you understood how to classify elements which block it belongs to based on the electronic configuration. Decide the electronic configuration. The outermost uh, electron is in which subshell is S, P or D subshell that will determine which block it belongs to. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.